What's up YouTube? I want to talk a little bit about Craigslist apartment rentals. There are about three kinds of listings on Craigslist for apartments. There's the miscategorized $1 rental, which I always check out because if it's only $1, I mean, that sounds like a great deal. But then you click on it and they forgot to add like four zeros and it's like some fancy house in Malibu, um, which I can't afford. There's also the uh, $300 for the first month, $1,200 thereafter deal, which is great because, you know, $300, that's really all you want to pay when you start renting an apartment. But then $1,200 thereafter uh, is a bit expensive. Then there's always this guy in the LA Craigslist apartment listings that is renting out his boat to you. He lives in Marina Del Rey and he's got like a poem that says, Love the sea, engage with the seagulls, and live on a boat, true simplicity, the mariner's way of life, no showers included, 375 per month, I may check in from time to time on my dainty vessel, won't you be an excellent first mate, lover boy, uh, and, 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 and it just goes on, and you start thinking to yourself, what does this middle-aged businessman with a boat really wants to do with it as far as having some random young person looking for cheap housing living there and I'm guessing the intentions are not totally kosher and then and then last but not least there are the uh, rental agency listings that are disguised as Craigslist postings like Westside Rentals or some other apartment search dot com rental or whatever and you go there and you're like oh wow live in Hollywood for five hundred dollars have my own room and bath like that's awesome how, how is that even possible and then you click on the link and it takes you to like like apartmentsearch.com and it shows you this great apartment that you just have to join the service for like fifty bucks in order to access and then you join the service and the apartment's already been rented and and you're out fifty dollars and you you're back on craigslist because there's really nothing to rent on apartmentsearch.com it's just a big website full of uh, overpriced apartments looking for rentals in LA is not that easy and I don't think looking on the internet is actually that good of a way of doing it I think if you want to find a rental just go to the neighborhood look around walk around and knock on doors on like Saturday or Sunday and that's the best way to find a place because you never really know what you're getting online it's kinda of like you think you're talking to a hot chick it turns out to be a man with pectoral implants that is also a second cousin who wants to have sex with you? True story.